There are so many answers, as many people you ask. A single ended signal is just one signal, so it's a 5 volt signal that goes up from ground back down to ground. Obviously, when you have a single ended signal, you have only one trace or one conductor going, you know, from driver to receiver, as I mentioned, right? Well, single ended signals are referenced uh, based off a, uh, off a reference. Differential signals are the difference between two signals. Uh, differential signals are generally used in high speed communication. Later in time, you know, differential signal came along where instead of sending a single signal going from driver to receiver, you send two going in opposite directions and that is much more reliable in terms of like uh, signal quality. Differential signaling is when we signal uh, down two wires relative to a ground, um, but doesn't always have to be. Um, and the two wires are excited out of 180 degrees out of phase. And what that means is that some of the fields cancel out and also when you get it on the the receiving end, it's easier to separate the signal from the noise. Differential signals um, are typically used in high-speed designs. They are measured uh, between two signal lines um, in a differential pair. The downsides of having a differential system is that it occupies more space, so therefore it's less dense than a single-ended system. However, your trade-off is that it performs so much better. So for single-ended measurements, they're usually a two-port measurement. The data rate for that is from DC to 8.4 gigabits per second. Uh, for differential measurements, they're usually four or more ports being measured, and they're usually used when you want to go up faster in uh, data rate. 